gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> Over to you, Sanjali. Yeah. I think we need another mic. Yeah, we need another one. So, uh, welcome, Jackie, and thank you so much for being here for our first ever masterclass. Yes, okay, sorry, there's your mic. <laughs> thank you. Oh my god, this is so amazing. My first ever masterclass in India. I've been wanting to do one for the longest time. Of course, um, an even better thing for me is the fact that it's with the body shop. My favorite, um, you know, they are such an ethical, natural and powerful brand. Their philosophy always being play it clean, wear it bold. Um, they're completely animal friendly, you know, and uh, against animal cruelty. And that's something I stand for. Everything about them, their social causes, everything is beauty with a heart. So, um, yeah, just being here today, um, you know, doing a masterclass, of course, also with, uh, you know, the makeup from the body shop and stuff from my own signature line. Uh, I couldn't ask for more. It's such a proud moment. So thank you guys all for being here today. It's, um, it really means a lot to me. And I hope you girls all get some cool tips and tricks and um, stuff that you guys find useful as well to use. So I hope you guys like makeup. Yeah. I hope the guys also, you guys like makeup. <laughs> you can definitely use some tips and tricks. I mean, Sean was just doing his makeup backstage. He's going to kill me for saying that. But uh, <laughs> sometimes some, a guy can use some help too. But uh, yeah, enjoy the uh, tutorials, guys. If you have any questions, uh, me and Sean are here for you. So feel free. Alrighty. I just spoke really fast. <laughs> oh. Sorry, we just have two mics. <laughs> All right, la ladies and gentlemen, uh, now let's dive in directly and welcome the guy um, who is a brilliant, who's brilliant in his master strokes, highlighting, contouring, everything. Please, please hoot and make some noise for Sean Mo! A master act himself! Welcome here, Sean, for our first ever masterclass. And a big congratulations for all the artistry you've so shown to us over the years and beautiful work that Jacqueline and Sean have done together, supporting Body Shop in every <laughs> cause. Of course. Yes, I was very excited. Um, this is my first ever masterclass in Mumbai, that though with Body Shop, which means a lot because I've been working with them for so many years because of Jackie. And yeah, I'm really excited because it's the first master class, so it's super excited. <laughs> That's all you can say. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You were excited, no? But you guys did something in London. Yeah, she did. Yes. Did a yeah. Before, but this is our first master class uh, here in, in India. India. Oh, sorry. This is our first master class here in India, and um, yeah, so uh, we're just we're very very stoked about it. But yeah. I'm very excited to show you something that we have on the screens, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Yes, let's take a look at the journey of Jacqueline's signature line creation. Take a look. Ready to start? Yes, I am. Yeah, so I'm so excited to see this, honestly. I'm very, very excited. Oh my God, <laughs> even we are really excited. <laughs> and it's not only me, Don't I think there mistake. are more than 100 women over here uh, who are yes. excited. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, are you excited? Can I get a bit of excitement here? Uh, yes? Yeah. All yeah. right. So let's play it clean, wear it bold. Over to you, All Sean. All right. Okay, so what are we gonna start with, Sean? So we created two looks for this okay. event, and the first one is uh, the fresh rose, the um, ash, ash rose. roses. <laughs> so guys, I'm seriously a little bit stressed, but it will come bigger, better. <laughs> okay, so ash of rose, which is more fresh. You guys know it's the bridal season coming up and everybody wants to look really fresh. There's a lot of day functions. So I'm starting with the day look, which is more or a romantic evening look also, which is not really harsh, really soft, lots of pinks, which is in trend right now. And Jackie has come up with her own line, the first Bollywood actress who has come up with her own line, which is amazing. And I'm really blessed that I saw the journey because she took me also to London. <laughs> So yeah, I think we actually, we actually created a couple of like uh, products on our by ourselves as well. So <laughs> that was really fun. And I, I still have a memorabilia from the first lipstick that we had made, Accidental which never ghost. which never really made it to the stands, <laughs> <laughs> but I kept it anyway. All right. So I'm going to, as you guys all know, cle cleansing, toning, moisturizing is the most important before doing a makeup, which is really important because if you guys don't cleanse, tone, and moisturize your skin really well. 
Uh, the base doesn't sit on your face, yeah. and Jackie loves the Skin vitamin. needs to be prepped, basically, so um, if you want that glowy, kind of dewy kind of look, uh, it's really, really cool. It's really, really good for your skin. It's really good for the look as well, if you do prep it beforehand. So we couldn't stress this enough. Um, I use the vitamin E range, so I cleanse, I use the toner, and on top of that, so this is it over here, um, um, E range, and um, right after that, cream. I use the sunscreen. So, I mean, guys, skip anything you want, but don't skip sunscreen. And the Skin Defense has been a really, really big, um, you know, help for my skin as well. It's just improved its texture in a really, really big way. So, uh, yeah, don't forget sunscreen. Sunscreen is the most important, please. Otherwise... And there's one little thing I do as well. Um, it's a little trick that I learned. Um, I used to ice my face a lot before going on shoot. And um, now Body Shop has this really, really cool product. It's called Ice Cube. And um, is it there? I'm just looking for it. Can't see. It's something yeah. I, you know, I it's keep here, in my here, bag here, all here. the time. It's, it's really amazing. It actually has the effect of ice on your, on your you know, eyes. So, um, and if you try putting ice on your eyes, you'll notice that immediately the eyes kind of just have this glow and they kind of just pop open. But here it is in a product, so you can actually carry it around with you. So I, I'm starting to use it. It's really good. And you, the plus point of this product is you guys can even use it during the day on top of the makeup. It's just really cooling and it freshes your face. So I love to start with this. Prepping the face is really important, guys. Icing every day in the morning. If you can't get to ice, just use the ice cube. <laughs> <laughs> so. cool. Now we are starting with the foundation. For the first look, I'm using the uh, cushion foundation, which is really amazing by the body shop. Uh, it's really light, and it has uh, really, uh, it's really lightweight, and it the has cushion this amazing cushion. Um, one of the best things about the cushion foundation uh, is the fact that it actually has aloe vera in it. Uh, I always felt, for some reason, every time I was putting foundation on my face, I was like, I don't know, like I felt like it was clogging my pores or just like it wasn't like healthy for my skin. The best thing about this foundation is it actually has really, really good um, products like aloe vera um, that uh, just actually benefit the skin. So, um, and the cushion acts as a buffer. So once you use this foundation, you realize, oh my God, my, my skin actually feels like it's just been like buffed and it's just like become really glowy. So yeah, it has a really nice satiny effect. So if you guys are planning to go anywhere in the day, it's really useful and it's really easy to carry it around, so it's in compact form. You guys don't need to powder really after this. The amazing thing about this is, even if you have really good skin, just by using this foundation, all of a sudden, the skin just starts glowing. So this is like the one thing I have to use on my skin because it has just the most amazing effect. It gives an amazing shine to your skin. And in our weather, um, it doesn't make it, it doesn't turn out oily. It actually just like turns out really fresh and dewy. Um, and it's lightweight, so you don't have to worry about it looking oily. Yeah. Now, after this, I'm going to use the... Wait, so that's actually how Sean does foundation on my face. <laughs> <laughs> that's enough, because it's He really hardly light. puts it, you know, foundation, he hardly she doesn't applies need, she has it. really healthy skin. <laughs> but, um, you know, if you do have coverage to you, you know, to... Uh, if you do need coverage, it actually also gives good coverage, so you can just apply even more. For the second look, I'm going to show you guys for a heavier look, which is the second look. There, I'm going to use a product which has more coverage. Now, the second is the amazing, amazing, amazing uh, Shades Adjusting Drop, which is do two use. You can use it for two different variations. One is if you guys feel that your base is really light, if you guys want to make your base according to your skin tone, you guys can just use one drop of it. It's really nice. and Otherwise, if you guys feel like you guys want to do contouring, you guys can straight use this product. So I think a lot of people, a lot of girls out there have a problem with the foundation and the color of their, their foundation. Uh, and I've noticed this on a lot of girls, like their makeup may be amazing, but somehow their foundation just does not match their skin tone, so it ends up just looking really bad. So the most amazing thing about this, um, these uh, uh, adjusting... Shades of adjusting. Shades, yeah, ad adjusting drops. Shade adjusting, Shade adjusting drops, drops. Sorry, yeah, it's like... Um, is that you can actually alter the uh, color of your foundation. So I 
um, most of the times go like two or three shades darker than what I usually am. Um, on camera, it just ends up looking a lot better. We can see all this flash going on over here. Uh, if we don't do contouring, if we don't go a little bit darker, our faces just end up looking kind of flat. So if you do have a function to go to where you will be photographed or, or stuff like that, I mean, nowadays everyone's pretty much like, you know, getting photographed or photographing themselves. So <laughs> it does actually help. And the plus point of this product is also it can be used as a contour. Every woman loves to contour right now these days. Contouring is the most trending thing. So what the biggest plus point Even of Sean loves is, to contour. Of course, I love contouring. <laughs> so I've contoured a lot today. Of course, mm. it's today's <laughs> important day. <deep>. So <laughs> this is amazing. This gives you you can easily contour your face. And I'm using the Body Shop brushes. Guys, the Body Shop brushes are really amazing. The reason why I'm saying they're amazing okay, you is... you contour, I'll talk about the brushes. Okay. They so, are uh, Otherwise, synthetic. we're going to be here all day. <laughs> okay. Um, so the brushes Sean is actually using on my face, the Body Shop brushes, um, they're unlike any brushes you guys would have ever used. They're extremely soft. Actually, they're, they're synthetic. They're 100% right. synthetic. So no animal products, uh, completely cruelty-free, um, which actually makes it even more, even softer than any other brush you'd ever use. Um, on top of that, it's coated with charcoal, which actually makes it antibacterial. Um, it's non-porous, which again is antibacterial. So you will pro possibly have like the least amount of um, impurities and stuff on your face because it, these brushes actually take care of that. And at the mm -hmm. same time, they do their job perfectly, so. Very well, like it blends the base really well. So this is a uh, contouring brush that he's actually using. Yeah. Um, so it Sean, works. give the tips on contouring. Yeah, come on, Sean. So every face is, process. <laughs> every face is different. Like if you guys think like some people, they need contouring on their cheekbones, some people on their jawline, some people on the nose. Jackie is really blessed uh, genetically with really nice high cheekbones, which we have to cut it off for the films a little bit. So <laughs> for Jackie, it's a different face cut. Yeah, so basically I do have extremely high cheekbones um, and I have a strong jaw. So um, what we usually do to soften it for screen... Wow, what was that? Okay, okay. So what we do to soften it for screen is we actually do a little bit of contouring on the cheekbones and we do a little bit of contouring along the jawline. So, um, and make sure you blend it into the neck as well. Very um, important. It just gives an overall softer appearance, um, definitely helps on screen. And also when you guys contour, make sure that you guys contour on the side of the neck because a lot of people just, they just contour the jawline. So what I always take care of is I always make sure that I sh uh, contour the side of the neck so that the color looks really natural and you guys also can contour a little bit on your yeah because you don't want people to know that you're wearing makeup right so <laughs> <laughs> exactly <laughs> it's the most important thing <clears throat> so you guys can highlight what all you guys want to highlight and then blend it really well so that it has no st strong lines and yeah and the nose that's it yeah, that's it. So we are I mean, done just like, just like everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> just contour your entire face. <laughs> Is it? Shan, I have a question. Does the contouring change with the shape, uh, shape of the face? So, of course, every any face special is technique for that? that you yes, might like to share? every face is different. Like some faces, they need contour more. Some, like Jackie, generally doesn't need much contouring in real life. But for films, she needs. In real life, if you guys can see her, she's really having a skinny face. But on a screen, it's really important because you look like four few kilos extra. Thanks. <laughs> Which everyone you are not. Does. Everyone does. Huh? Yeah, everyone. But yeah, but I mean, like on saying that, I mean, a lot of people love to contour along here and create cheekbones. That's one thing that we actually don't do. No. We actually contour on the actual cheekbone. So that it looks much more softer. Some people want an effect of like, you know, um, maybe they don't, they don't have a strong jawline, so then there's no point actually cutting down or contouring the jawline. Um, some people have like really slim noses. So basically I've contoured everything. <laughs> <laughs> no, we contoured a little bit. So, but yeah, certain people you don't, but yeah. Now the contouring bit is over, guys. Now my favorite trick, which I always do, is using the pink lip and cheek stain, which is amazing of Body Shop. And what I do is, I, after the contouring of the face, I always say, smile a little bit. Only on the apple of the cheeks to get that freshness, and with your finger, just blend it in. So that it looks really soft and fresh. I know, one of my favorite, favorite things to use um, from all makeup is blusher. I just feel it just 
adds so much color and life to some, you know, to a, to a face. And so this is something I carry around with me all the time. And it, it works on the lips, it works on the cheeks. Um, Sometimes she uses it in the eyes also. Eyeshadow. <laughs> which you should not, according to them, but uh, yeah, a little bit is... Sometimes, in Sometimes desperate situations. <laughs> <laughs> this virile could be standing anywhere, you know. But it works. I mean, it doesn't work as effectively, but it def definitely opens up the eyes. And now it comes to the mascara, and I'm going to use the Lash Fiber Extension. How many of you guys have used it? Oh, yay! One, one person! person. <laughs> Only one person? Yeah, me too. Okay, oh, two, three, okay, four, yeah, five, yeah. many. <laughs> so tell me, there is a trick to use. Okay, guys, do you know what does it mean, the uh, Fiber uh, Lash, lash Extension? Mm -hmm. So it's one side fiber and one side is the mascara. So how it gets the fake effect is, Jackie, explain. <laughs> okay, you do. Okay. Okay, so basically, um, you add the mascara, okay, and after applying the mascara, you can apply the other side, which are these little, like, fiber extensions. So just as the effect of putting extensions in your, in your lashes, this gives an extremely effective effect because it just creates volume and um, it just latches onto the mascara, so it creates like, I mean, the effect is absolutely amazing. Like, you won't even need extensions after this. Can you guys see it, what I did? So you have to, after the, after the uh, fiber, you have to put the mascara, the mascara back on. Again. Yeah. So you put the mascara back on. It's seriously the most amazing effect. I actually don't have that many, like, my lashes aren't as thick and luscious and curly. So this really, really works for me, because on screen as well, we can't really use um, falsies and stuff like that. So this gives such a natural effect. Look at the effect, guys. Can you guys see it? I don't know if it I can. just, I'll it come just in the gets audio. that fake effect because it, <laughs> the, the, the first mascara coat makes it helps it also to stick on to your lashes. Because in the starting, Jackie used to be like, I don't want this mascara, Shan. Then we came to know, okay, this no, is the easiest way. We, we actually did it wrong in the beginning. We, yeah. We used to use the fibers first and then use the mascara. mascara. And what was happening was on my eyelash, the fibers are getting all stuck because there was no mascara coating. So he actually advised me wrong. <laughs> but now she's like, yes, I love it every day. It's the easiest way. You guys don't need to use even fake lashes. They are amazing, guys. This is one thing you guys should have in your kit. Part of the signature line. Yes, exactly. 2.0. And they come in many different colors as well. Yeah, so yeah. that's really in trend now. Um, Shan, you could show the colors, colors as well. To there everyone. is a blue one which I have so kept for my next look, yeah. but they have a beautiful green one also, which yes. we have used. And a purple. Um, there's, a purple there's a purple also. There's a purple, yeah. The green one you guys must have seen in the photo shoot we have done for uh, the body shop, we have used it last year. Guys, can you see the difference? <laughs> Wait, what no. camera is it? If you've done full eye makeup, don't forget to lower mascara, the bottom lashes, because the effect then just looks complete. So we always make sure that we put mascara on the bottom lash as well. Sean, any tips for applying mascara? Applying mascara, the easiest is Jackie knows how to do it. When you guys apply the mascara, Jax, she gives a pressure so that it goes till the roots of your lashes. So every time I, I, I hold the portion in this area, Jackie gives pressure so that you get the mascara till inside your root. So it will look really nice and fuller then. Here guys, this is the magic mascara I think everyone should have. <laughs> in your kit because it gives you it such an amazing... It actually looks really thick, guys. Trust thick. me, my eyelashes are not this <laughs> thick and they're not this long looking. It's the fiber, actually, that's created the illusion. So um, if you haven't tried it out, please try it out because it's great for an everyday use as well. Yes. Now it's time to define the eyebrows and I love the Body Shop uh, eyebrow definer because it's three in one. 
One is the brown color, which you guys all need to define the eyebrows. So for Jackie, how do I do eyebrows? Tell them. So basically, um, I we only do the top part of my eyebrows. Um, they're quite thick and dark anyway, but um, it's just cleaner if you just, I mean, fill them in a little bit. So for me though, we just fill in the top part. Um, the bottom part, I feel, would just kind of like create too less of a gap between my eye and the eyebrows. So doing the top part of the eyebrow kind of just gives enough space in between the eye, the eyebrows, and it just creates also a little bit more thickness. Um, so I guess everyone's eyebrows are so different. So just figure out which one kind of works best for you. Um, filling in your eyebrows always, you know, gives it a much cleaner look. Yes. Brushing your eyebrows is something that's important. also very important. Which is the biggest plus one of this brush. You guys have the brush with it's it. It's actually a brush as well. It just, um, it fluffs them out, you know, and it cleans them up. So don't forget to brush your eyebrows. And the third one is the highlighter, which is really nice to define the eyebrows. And what I do is I only use it in the front of our eyelid, like not throughout, only in the front and till the arch. I never bring it down. Because when you bring out any highlighter below the the brow, the brow you will start feeling your eyes, eyes are droopy. So what I do is I just bring it from the front till the middle of the eyebrow and I stop it there because that will not give you the illusion of droopy eyes. I mean like yeah, but exactly, everyone's eyebrows are so different. So if you actually have like maybe higher eyebrows like that, you could probably do it. But because mine go quite downward, um, it's again, you know, Makeup is all about illusion and uh, highlighting things, um, maybe hiding flaws, if anything. Um, but at the end of the day, also just having fun. So we've, I mean, we've worked together for so long. Me and Sean have actually worked together for like seven years now. <laughs> so yeah. we've figured out way too many things. And the most amazing thing is you can continue. Uh, with makeup, there's like so much to always discover. Yeah. So now what are you doing? Oh, there's something on there. Oh, okay. I could see it. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. So the eyes are done. What do you guys think? The eyes are defined. It's a much lighter. Come on, look. I it's think guys, Sean deserves one. an applause for this. <laughs> <laughs> He's under so much pressure right now. I can't believe he did oh eyes. My God, I, am, I, am. I can't believe he did eyes for me in front of an audience. Oh my God, and that too, like really, really nicely, Sean. <laughs> so the eyes are done. Now the face is almost done. Now the final one is the lips. For the lips, I you can see I look really different from when I came on stage <laughs> to now. Everything has just been like highlighted or accentuated or even like contoured down. So, and I think that's what we love. Like me and Sean both have this like love for makeup. It's been used since the beginning of time. I mean, like from the times of like. Cleopatra and stuff and you oh, know yeah. there's so many things to keep discovering it is an art form at the end of the day you know it's something that you um, can I think just be so creative with yes. so yeah now the next one is a real must is their lip scrub have you guys used it the body shop lip scrub and it's really nice because when you do lipstick for many hours especially as for films when you guys are doing makeup Lipstick for the whole day it becomes dry yeah. and you get a skin like have you guys I actually seen have that, that extra skin which comes in the side, especially with matte lipsticks and all? So this really helps you to it doesn't come after this anymore. So it really helps. So it's like a like a scrub which you guys can use. It takes away the first layer of dead skin. Guys, can you see it? The dead skin coming out? It's really cool actually because this is actually something you can use. Uh, apply two, three times a day just to clean out. If you have like lipstick that's maybe getting a little bit like uh, worn out throughout the day, you just need to like refresh see? it. This actually helps, and I do actually have um, the dry skin dryness off. as well. So this um, just freshens up everything, and and it's peppermint, so it just kind of gives like a nice burst of fresh freshness. So clean it off, and if it's possible, if you guys can use it. Like 10 minutes, like 10 minutes for your makeup itself, it's really good. But in a masterclass, I'm not telling, showing you guys that. So if you guys clean it, see now Jackie's lips are really nice and clean. Wow. And after this, of course, everybody knows the Body Shop lip balm for sure. All of you, right? Which is your favorite? Strawberry. 
this. Okay, good. So whichever you guys prefer, some people like the stick, some people like the balm types. So Jackie loves the balm. I have to have the strawberry lip balm. Like I almost feel incomplete without it. It's by like my bedside. <laughs> it's in my handbag. It's on my set table. It's everywhere I go. And it just smells so good and it really is very moisturizing. It's a really nice thick, long moisturizer. Now it comes the last one, which is the lip liner. How many of you love lip liner? I'm not sure everybody loves because it makes your lips look bigger. It makes the lips look plump. So for this look, I'm going to use the lip definer color. This is global pink. Huh? Which one? Is it? Which one is it? Global pink. It's a pink. Well, it's a pink one. The XP doesn't say. Okay, we'll we'll tell, we'll tell you apply. I just. I'm, I'm, we'll read it out. Okay. It's a really nice natural color. If you guys can see, can you see that? And I like to draw Jackie's lips a little bit out. And it's really natural. Yeah, so we have like a little technique with lip liner. Can you guys see the difference between the two sides? It just gives you immediately the effect of nice so and fuller exactly. lips. Not only does it give you uh, like an even kind of like lip and like a clarity on the lip as well. Um, Sean likes to draw this area out. He likes to draw this area out, so it just creates like a nice little roundness. And so I think that's the most amazing thing about lip liner. You can actually create your own shape. Go for it. <laughs> yeah, because Jackie's lips are perfect. Just the middle portion, I just keep it within the lips, but the outer portion, I keep it really out so that it looks nice and full and in the middle of the lip to get that illusion. Can you guys see it? Now for this look to finish, um, yeah, to finish this lip color, I'm using the matte lip liquid of Mac uh, of Body Shop, which is amazing. Which Jackie only brought. I, I was there with her when she was bringing the color up. Cypress begonia. Oh, it's it is Nairobi. Nairobi camellia. Yeah, Nairobi okay. camellia. So okay, all right, cool. An amazing color. Don't use it too much. What I do is I love to keep it within the lips because I've already made this area darker with the lip pencil and then I smudge it. And the biggest plus point seriously saying about this, uh, the Body Shop lip, uh, matte, matte lipsticks, are they are really moisturizing. So you guys don't feel that extreme dryness because with any other lipsticks, when you guys see like a lot of other brands, they have it, and it becomes so dry, especially there are some very famous social media lipsticks, if you guys know. They make it so dry that I cannot even remove it, and it's really not good for your lips. So the biggest plus point of Body Shop is it's, it's, it is long-lasting, but it doesn't dry your lips, so you guys won't have pigmentation problem in the future. And trust me, all these new, new brands which are there in social media and which they sell the lipsticks, they are really bad for the lips. No, but I mean, like all of us, I mean, when you put lipstick on, uh, we are at jobs or at school or we're like, you know, at work, so we need our lipstick to be long lasting. Uh, and if you want to go with something matte, it usually is a little bit of a risk because it ends up drying and then just like leaving weird, like, you know, marks and stuff like that. So, I mean, this is something really amazing to go with the matte lip, lip color because it's just, it's actually really, really moisturizing. It's very, very soft on the lips as well. Yes. Now, okay. to finish this look, I'm going to use a little bit more blusher which is nice on the upper of the cheeks because it's really needed to bring out the color. Guys, me and Sean are really obsessed with the blush. <laughs> blush is the most important <laughs> thing, I think so. Oh, we wear so much blush. <laughs> and again, now when the look is finished, I can see that I would like to give her much, a little bit more contouring. So you guys can build on your contouring more using this amazing product. Seriously, because this product is so light and it doesn't really give you a fake contour look. Like whenever you guys have seen this, I've been using for very long for Jackie. If you guys see, it doesn't look really strong contoured. It's such a soft contour. 
and now I feel I can contour more. And it's matte, which is really good. Any contour product has to be matte. This is really amazing, this bronzer. What happens if it's not matte? Then you guys don't want to get the effect what you guys want. Like contouring is all about looking really skinny and chiseled. <laughs> and if it's having shine in it, then you guys will just look more rounder. Shine basically reflects, so it actually just defeats the purpose of your contouring. So then the final one is the Shimmer Bricks that you guys must be knowing. I think this is, I think Body Shop must be the first brand which came with the uh, Shimmer yeah, Bricks, right? Multiple shades in one palette, Shimmer Waves. Right, yeah. I remember because I just started my makeup in that time there were, I think only Body Shop had it, like the Bricks, because it's okay. one of the like really, I think best sold selling products one. of yours. Absolutely. So it's all in one, they have multiple different shades which you guys know, it's more the bronzy, more the peachy. So what I do is for the face, I only use the upper layer, which is the more the peaches. Can you guys see it? And of course, I don't really use it, but for this look, I'm going to give a little bit highlight on Jackie's face. And now another trick, take any brush of yours, And can you guys see the lighter portion, the, the, the last brick, the first, the last brick? I just use that to use in the middle of her nose to make it more sharper. So it's multi-use, which is the best. And most important, yeah, on the top of the lips a little bit to get that nice color and now finale that is, is just basically i mean just to create the illusion of like a like a little pout and pout. um yeah just like a slimmer, slimmer nose. nose and very important make sure that you guys are using the same shimmer on your collarbone and if it's a sleeveless like this make sure that you guys are giving a little highlighter because if you guys click pictures and all it should look even, like evenly shining. Honey bronzer here? Yeah. Yes. yes. So, I mean, I've noticed something as well, like a lot of the times when we go out, a lot of the, you know, a lot of us forget to put um, any kind of like cream or oil or, uh, you know, body makeup. So it is actually really important because if you're going to a function, if you get photographed, your, your body will look, you know, drastically different from your face. So my favorite actually is oh, the honey, bron it. honey bronzer. I was looking for that. <laughs> I was looking we use this a lot in film, in songs, when we're going out, red carpets. Um, it just has the most amazing effect. It's not going to make you like too dark, but at the same time, it's just going to give you like a really nice light golden Shut. touch. And it goes with the fact that you, you know, put makeup on your face as well. And if you guys are concerned about looking, make this, if this product makes you look a little bit darker or something, what I do is I just take one drop of the base, which you guys have applied on the face. So then it cuts the darkness. And then you guys have this nice, really honey oil. And just apply. I think you guys must have seen Jumeki Rath, right? <laughs> And that's the time when we started using this, and since then it's like always with us. So guys, this is the day look or the soft romantic look created by the amazing products for Body Shop, which in front of you guys' eyes, I think it's fresh, really, really nice and soft. Good job, Sean. <laughs> 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 No, it's amazing. That's really, really cool. It is definitely, I mean, like, if you guys have any questions, this is um, Ashes of Rose. Ashes of Rose. Shan. And, and uh, this is something I think that can really go for, transcend from day to night. If you're looking for that natural look, if you're someone who's not into too much makeup. Oh my God, I just saw Sean's mom. I'm a baby. Grishma. Um, yeah, so I mean, I think it just, this is something, you know, this is one of the, um, you know, uh, different kind of like looks we have created for you guys today. Exactly. Uh, we'll be moving into our next one very soon, but if... Yes, but we questions? are going to open uh, the floor for five questions only. So okay. if you have any questions, you can ask. You guys Sean have any questions exactly about here. this look or like maybe about your face shape or if there's any like makeup tips for you guys? Anything on products? Yes? Right. 
you know what? It is so lightweight. Honestly, I mean, this is something I use on a daily, daily basis. Um, it, I would probably say it is because it's so light. You just, it just absorbs in your skin. You won't feel it. And um, yeah, it stays. It's, it's actually, it's it stays, lightweight. It's but it, long lasting. It is long lasting. It is definitely long lasting. Yeah. Thank you. Should definitely try it if you haven't tried it. <laughs> yes. Hi, my name is Urvashi. That's the fab makeup that you've done, first of all. Um, I just quickly wanted to have, I had a question for Shyan actually. There's one of your videos where you know, you've mentioned uh, that you're not in support of using primers beneath the foundation. So your views on that? Sorry, sorry, what's wrong? You don't use primers under your foundation. I don't, I don't. Yeah, I so didn't use it here also, but I'm not a huge fan of uh, primers because but you know, it's something i mean like it's it depends see my skin actually doesn't need uh you know a primer um because i come moisturized i come prepped already but there are some times where primers i mean like if let's say you you know there are certain primers that actually make this you know make the foundation pop make the concealer yes, stay especially when you're in european countries i can understand because it's a cold country you need that layer and layer so that the the, the base stays but india is already very humid but it depends so on your skin. Country. It, it depends, really depends on, skin. on your skin. If you have extremely dry skin, I would, I would say, yeah, use it. But for Jackie and for films also, I feel primer is just a layer of makeup, which need. makes it just heavier and heavier. So she is really particular about cleanser, toner, and moisture, and sunscreen. She never comes. Even if I ask her, please, don't use today's sunscreen, she will be like, no, no, no. Without <laughs> sunscreen, she doesn't go out only. Guys, it's anti-aging. So, okay. <laughs> So on top of a sunscreen, then again, primer is actually not used. Yeah, but then much. again, I would say it depends. It depends Try it if it place works place. for you. If it works, you know, it works for you. If it doesn't, then I mean, you know, it's yeah. something that he just doesn't use. <laughs> I don't use it. It does make your uh, makeup last, just stay longer. But uh, yeah, they're for touch-ups, so I don't do it for <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'm there always for touch-ups, so <laughs> there's no need. <laughs> okay. um, firstly, that's a. <laughs> Firstly, that's a beautiful look that you've done on Jacqueline. I think oh. she looks gorgeous. Oh, she doesn't need me, actually. She's, she, <laughs> uh, she looks the same how she was. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I love the bond you guys share. <laughs> I would want to compliment you for that as well. Okay, so my question is, I just loved what you've done on her. How about using a white pencil on the same look? Would that work according to you? Of course, white pencil in the waterline. Yeah, line. like inside the waterline. Of line. course, it becomes more, but for me, why white stands really out, which the next look has the white, but more than the white on this look, genuinely asking me, I would take the cotton, and if you guys feel like the white to pop up the eyes, it will be too light then. So instead of white, I would prefer to take a base, which I do always in films, because white looks at really, like if you look in the 80s and 70s, Reka and all those actresses, they used to use a lot of white with those uh, artificial lower lashes. But today, you don't really do it so much. We use it, we use it in some instances, like you'll see it probably in the next look. I guess. Yeah, in the next look it has, but in this look, if you go on to use a color to pop out the color more, I would use You're doing a the natural same eye? base for a natural look. What I love doing is take the same color base or whatever, it, like whichever you color you have, use. and use it in the waterline. So just see? maybe a tinge of it, or like tinge very of it, little. Just, but then it doesn't look fake. Because you've done an, a natural eye anyway, so... If you use the white, um, it would might it might just kind of like look a little bit odd. Little odd because it's not really strong. For the next look, you guys will see because it's more it's, a different it look. It complements it then. Yeah. Okay. So, but for this look, I would say I would stay with the natural. Eye color. All right. Thank you so much. Welcome. Any more questions? <laughs> All right. For Sean. And Jacqueline here. Can we have a huge round of applause? Yeah, we did it. Yeah. And I have to say, you look stunning, stunning, and you did absolutely amazing here. Thank, Thank you. We you. all, we all excited for this look, and I'm excited for this look too. Yay. So all of us, we're going to take a 15-minute break. But while you're leaving, you're going to get a personalized kit. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. And just to inform all of you that you will get this. <laughs> decode off this in look in your personalized kit. So, yeah. <laughs> and we'll be back in 15 minutes again for our next look and our next session. So, you guys can break for 15 minutes.
I can't see anything. Is it good tonight? Oh God, I see the thing. It's fine, no? I said such a small wrong. Oh, yeah. Sean, can we have Shanu's personal mirror, right? It's my that personal right? mirror, so it's really important. <laughs> Okay, so all my friends over here, I'm sure you love the look and I loved it too. And we have our makeup artists and you can see these stops here, makeup stops. You can go there and get this look. You can get uh, all the knowledge you want about this and we are right here to assist you. We we'll come back in 10 minutes. We we'll come back in 10 minutes. Make sure guys, when you guys are wearing sleeveless or something with really open neck, Make sure that you guys are really applying the same. Otherwise, foundation on the face and on the <laughs> neck can look really different. So, why are you laughing? Yeah, I mean, so it's usually on set, what Sean ends up doing is he ends up doing this. And you see how he's like smothering me? So, like, he ends up doing my legs, and then he's like doing my arms, and like everyone on set's like, what is this guy doing? <laughs> Looks like a mad person. <laughs> so to finish this look for the night, definitely open hair is always nicer. So when done, Jax, this is something which we do every day. <laughs> you mean? Yeah. Okay. With your arms, you guys can brush it out. A little back combing, and this is. The blue bay look. Come on. <laughs> she deliberately didn't come, but this is the blue lay look. So, guys, this is the dark look for the night. If you guys want to go out and party whole night, only use the amazing uh, down to earth palette. Yep. Yes, I remember guys. this. Oh my God, what's using this as a model? <laughs> remember this looks. This look. This um, smoky eye looks really good when you bronze it up really nicely. So make sure you balance that nice and then you've got of course like your lighter lipstick. The palettes are all there guys, it's pretty like, you know, um, You guys have seen what I've used exactly. So this is the look. So I hope you guys enjoyed, huh? Tag huh? party! It's a party! <laughs> Looks like you guys are going for a party after this, we for so sure. A party. Actually, I have to go for an event right now, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm ready. So, um, if you have questions for this amazing look, for the makeup, go ahead, ask. We can take five questions. Oh, yeah. Nice. Can we have the mic here? 
You look so amazing. And I think hot is the word for you. You look right really, now, really... We've gone hot. We've gone hot. <laughs> exactly. Hot. Day to night. Yes, go ahead, ask it's someone. Uh, hi, Jacqueline. You look so gorgeous and great Thanks. job. Like, hot, hot. seriously, great job. Uh, Thank you. I had a question for you. Uh, basically, I have a really, really oily skin. So I needed, you know, three or four, maybe as many tips as you can give for oily skin when you're applying makeup. Okay, they have this amazing matte. Jackie doesn't have really oily skin, that's why I don't use, but we have used it still once on a shoot. Body Shop has this amazing uh, mattening, yeah, a cream. I don't know where it is gone. Can I just show it? Yeah, that foundation, that white tube. The white tube? Yeah, to mattify the face. It's really nice. It's like almost like a pore minimizer. Yeah, where's the white tube? The, the, the matte. Where's that? You know when we used it for that song? So, uh, if you guys really want to have instant matte face, this really does wonders because it helps to um, uh, close the pores and um, it's really control nice. It's shine. like control the shine. Yeah. So, if you guys have really oily skin, I would say apply a product like this before so that it absorbs. But otherwise, um, I think. Also, maybe be careful of highlighter. Like if you're prone to very oily skin, you don't know? use highlighter because hi highlighter gives you the same effect of a shiny skin. So yeah. try to avoid highlighter, and also always carry uh, the amazing compact powder. So use of more like shop. matte, um, less shine. Every anything in your contouring and your blusher, um, just make sure that they're all matte. And always carry a, a compact powder. powder. Yes. Always. Yeah. <laughs> That's the easiest the yeah, way. Yeah. But I would say use a mattifying cream before. Applying and the matte else. foundation as well. Yeah. Thank you so much. She looks happy. She looks happy. Like I've really good makeup it. on yeah. though. Yeah. She has done really good makeup. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Hi, I loved your hair flip. That was crazy. Oh, you look beautiful. She delivered it. Flip. I was like ready to get that full look, but she was like, okay, let me come a little bit slower. But we did capture up. that. Anyways, <laughs> uh, I wanted to ask, what does the difference, does a transparent mascara really mix? Like, yes. what does it mix? Okay, okay. okay. where is Body Shop Please makeup artist? I can tell you guys. Okay, transparent mascara is basically hmm. mascara to keep your, it's like a gel. Did you use it today? It's, Yes. Ah, uh, he's used it. <laughs> I used it. She always asks me to use it, but I'm so lazy mm. usually to use it. It's so funny. So, but it says it's brow and lash gel. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's the same thing. Basically, if you guys don't want that mascara look, if you guys apply this, it gets you that really separated look, which looks like like watery. So <laughs> for that, it's used <laughs> and to keep your lash uh, brows stay in a place. So it doesn't move at all. Which Basically for your brows, moves. by the way. <laughs> Lash is Don't use it. Bro, Lash. <laughs> She's not letting go. It's, it's really good. <laughs> Apply it. Like, it's really good. <laughs> and <laughs> any? C as a primer. Okay, so, so it's supposed to be used as a mascara primer, primer. but there are different not uses. Is mascara. that? <laughs> I'm completing you, Shalom. <laughs> okay. okay, any more questions? Any more questions? Dark circles tips. Um, dark circles. For, uh, always, if you have dark circles, carry uh, extra color with you, like like a, a primary color, like yellow, whatever your undertone is. If you have extreme uh, dark circle problem. Otherwise, what you guys can do is also, you guys can use a foundation which is exactly the same shade first which is your under eye, and then apply the shade of your bold face. So what happens is it cuts away the grayness. Otherwise, if you guys notice, sometimes it becomes really gray towards the end of the day, the under eye or the mouth area if you have pigmentation problem. So make sure that you guys have a product which can cut uh, the grayness or use the same color of your darkness as a concealer first and then use your foundation. Yeah, make sure you blend. I mean, like you would use concealer probably or like you said, then a lighter foundation or the same color foundation as your face. And yeah. then on top of that, use something else. Darker first. See, Jackie has no dark circle at all. Like even after I cleaned her under eye, you guys saw, she has really no dark circle. Yeah. So um, certain, especially Jackie is really uh, lighter in shade also. Like when you go with pigmentation in a, the reddish side, 
that's when you see also more problems. Like, um, so for our skin color, um, what is the pigment? I mean, what is the pigment you It's use? usually yellow. If you guys noticed, in Indian skin tone, yeah. we, uh, we the yellow, yellow one. one. So if you have a yellow concealer, it cuts all the problems away. And I would definitely say, I mean, like after, if we use, if you're using kajal, if you're using some kind of eyeshadow, make sure that that part is cleaned um, exactly. completely because it ends up falling and then, you know, so any excess and stuff, just make sure it's brushed off, it's cleaned, and then maybe apply a little bit more concealer and powder along that area. And some people are, they take also more time with the eyes. So you guys can start with the eyes, clean it up, and then use the and base also, it's easier. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. And she looks gorgeous. Can we uh, have a round of applause for both of them? Yeah. Done. Thank you. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we will have high tea outside. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Please. Huh? First of all, man, you're looking gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, congratulations for your first master class. So, how was the yes. experience with the sound, sir? 
uh, with Shao. <laughs> Shao Mu. Shao Mu. Yeah. <laughs> um, it was amazing. Honestly, this is the first makeup class that we have done, makeup master class in uh, in India. And uh, I've always wanted to do something like this. And that too, of course, with the Body Shop. It's such an amazing brand. Um, we've used products from my signature line as well. So um, stuff that we've collaborated on and we've worked on together. And uh, that was very exciting. Uh, as we all know, you are the brand face of uh, Body Shop. Uh, so, uh, when uh, the uh, artist uh, pro product uh, uh, they launch a product, mm -hmm. what does they uh, role uh, they play a role when they pro uh, launch any product? Absolutely, it's very important. I think uh, I think for any celebrity or artist to uh, take on a project to take on a product, to take on a brand and endorse it, um, you have to really believe what you're endorsing and what you're promoting. So, you know, for me, the body shop is uh, something that I really, really, I'm very proud to endorse. Uh, I've been using their products since I was like a little girl. And, um, you know, they're very ethical. Um, now, you know, one of like my favorite slogans of theirs is to um, play it clean, but wear it bold. And that means that, you know, they, they, they're really into no dirty business, no testing on animals, they're 100% vegetarian, they're organic, they're eco-friendly. Um, and this is really, really important in our day and age when, you know, all of these are major issues. And uh, so they're ethical and that's what I believe in. But at the same time, their products are amazing. They don't compromise on its quality. And uh, that's why I'm so proud to be standing here as the brand ambassador. Okay, what is the one thing you can't live without uh, when it's come to make makeup? Uh, one thing I can't live without uh, for makeup, I think it would have to be lip tinted. Tinted lip balm. <laughs> so, uh, do you think uh, in the summer there is a more when coming when we come to the makeup, mm -hmm. the more makeup is go good for the skin? It, it depends. I mean, like honestly, like um, if the makeup is you know lightweight, if it's good quality, if it's got you know uh, the right ingredients. Uh, one of my favorite things about like the you know the foundation that we use from the body shop, it has aloe vera in it. It actually has a product that's actually good for your skin. So you can actually use it and not feel bad or not maybe break out. That's a major issue with a lot of people and a lot of makeup products. Um, people end up breaking out into acne and stuff because it's just not good for your skin. As summer mm -hmm. is going on and uh, wedding season is also there, any tips you'd like to give to your fans? Um, any tips I would like to give, I think, you know, um, make sure that your makeup is balanced, make sure that your makeup is blended in and it's always staying fresh. I think that's, uh, that's very, very, that's an important tip to have. What do you want to say about the animal killing to make the product? How, what, how do you see this? I think it's it's absolutely unethical. I think it's very unnecessary in this day and age. Yeah. Um, you know, the body shop has, from the very beginning, from the 70s, uh, been against animal testing. And, um, you know, so if they were able to do it from that time, there's no reason why, you know, other cosmetic companies should not be doing that now and taking a stand. Um, we're encouraging a lot of people to join our movement called the FAAT movement, the fat movement, which is trying to eradicate animal testing completely from all uh, makeup products. And we, we really don't believe in that. Excited for the trailer is coming closer, race two. Race yes, three. race three. <laughs> race three yeah. Very excited, very excited. We've all worked very hard on the film and uh, it's turning out to look really amazing. So, yeah. Thank, thank, you, so thank, you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys.